Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Odyssey Girl, of course, and welcome to some good old-fashioned Battlefield 3 Metro Rush Attack. Oh, yeah, baby, this is one heck of a match. I think I get, like, almost 90 kill and the kills and, like, 17 deaths or some shit like that, so... There's a lot of action. It's about 22 minutes long, but I cut it down, uh, I think, in a really good way, so it's about 13 minutes. Uh, but with a lot of like slow motion and stuff like that to make up for the parts where basically I just die and isn't really interesting to see. And also makes me look better if I cut out all the parts where I die. I look more professional. <laughs> no, it's not that. That's not why I cut it out. It's because it's boring, no one really wants to see that kind of stuff. And because the video is way too fucking long if it's 20 minutes. And I can't upload over 20 minutes long 1080p videos. That's... That's not conceivable. It or I can, but it takes way too long time. <laughs> it's as simple as that, yes! Yes, excellent. Anyways, uh, most of you guys probably heard now that Pwn, uh, the, the crazy American guy I've done a, quite a lot of videos with, he has now uh, left Machinima, and uh, I thought I would actually kind of talk about this a little bit. I watched his video, I haven't really talked to him about it, so I don't really know the specifics and stuff like that, but I've heard this from quite a lot of Machinima partners, so I'm guessing he basically got the same thing happening to him, uh, so the information doesn't come from him, so it's not guaranteed that the same thing happened to him like these guys, but I'm I'm pretty much guessing that that's what happened. Uh, Poon, uh, like many other Machinima guys, who are pretty damn get big, bigger than me, most of them, have more views, more subscribers, has been being doing good work for Machinima, Machinima for all from two years to as much as four years, the guys I know and talk to. And they basically got them, like hooked up by Machinima, or, or Machinima basically asked them, uh, or contacted them now the la last uh, couple of weeks and said that like either uh, we're gonna change your contract to this where you make half as much money uh, or we're gonna terminate your contract with us and that's simply what they've said and from what I've heard all the guys who have been talking to them have basically been met with like no nope, if, if you don't take the new contract we're gonna basically terminate your contract and so if you don't take it you basically quit so you see there's simply been forcing people to leave me Machinima, and, and to me this seems extremely strange. I don't know what the hell Machinima is doing. I mean, I know for for fact that Machinima has been been doing a lot of stupid stuff lately. This is something actually Pwn talked to uh, or talked about a lot, and that's letting people in uh, with, with basically no skills at all in Machinima. I mean, we saw this when when they took on like Megan Speaks and when they was about to partner like the Reply Girl and shit like that. I mean, real horrible freaking crap. I mean, like. Come on, Th these people don't even do video game videos. I mean, they do reply videos about people who do video games. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like that has even remotely close to do with what Machinima does because. I've been doing videos now for about two years, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, when I started out, uh, I dreamt of being partnered with Machinima. Uh, not really because you could make money, because you couldn't actually make money in Sweden two years back. Uh, on YouTube, uh, you were able to do that, I think, around one and a half years ago, you could start getting partnered in that manner. But I wanted to so badly get partnered with Machinima, like back in the day, to be able to have, like, uh, pick the thumbnails for the videos, uh, have a channel background with a banner and all that kind of good cool stuff and like have the banner above my videos do you know how it says like hello oh no it actually it doesn't anymore they removed that banner I think I had a banner before that said hello hello boys or I'm good for you or something like that like over the video and like all of that cool stuff you wanted that I mean I'm a fucking grown-up I mean I'm 25 right now I turned 25 yesterday uh, or at least from when I'm recording this commentary I'm recording the commentary on Monday I turned uh, 25 during Saturday or Sunday, I mean the 13th uh, and um I mean, it might sound a little bit silly, but Machinima was the place you wanted to go uh, and be partnered with if you did anything with the FPS games and then video games, because that's where all the cool guys were, like uh, uh, Tabes, like, um, oh god, what's his name, uh, not Total Biscuit, <laughs> Total Biscuit never been there, 
Uh, but, uh, oh god, what's his name? C. Nanders! Uh, what else do we got? We got, uh, oh man, like the guys from way back, not Sly Fox Hunt. I'm like, I, I did watch his videos a lot, like two years ago, uh, when he just, when he actually got partnered with them. And yeah, basically all of the really, really good channels that had really good content, uh, like Hutch and Chark or Sark and all those guys, uh, that, that you really enjoyed watching, like way back. Yeah, I can't say that I do still enjoy watching them. Uh, I don't know if, if they changed or if I've changed, but it, it's just not the, the content that I'm after right now, to be honest, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing that that's kind of maybe why Machinima also is like doing this to, to all of the their, their loyal loyal uh, workers, simply, because you, you simply almost work for them. You're not really employed, but when you are a director and stuff like that, you, you kind of work for them. I, I think I think most of these guys I mentioned actually do work them for them, like for real, like in, a, in their office and stuff like that. But it's kind of sad what happened, and as I said, Pung kind of talked about this. Uh, I would recommend watching his video as well, like kind of, because I can't really explain what happened to him. I, I just want to like talk about this a little bit because I think it's sad because even though I have no part with Machinima and even if Machinima goes bankrupt tomorrow it doesn't really matter for me when it comes to my channel and stuff like that since I'm partnered with, with their competitors the game station that that I felt had a much better contract overall uh, Machinima kind of lost out on me when when they said no the first two times I asked them to partner me and game station contacted me like two months later and said like we would love to have you and uh, yeah, I grew from 10,000 subscribers to over 120,000 subscribers in 12 months. So screw you, Machinima. You lost. Uh, you lost out, bitches. <laughs> But but really, I mean, yeah, they they did lo lo lost out or lose out, lost out. Fucking learn speak English, Andrew. God damn it. Um, but they really did lose out there because uh, I, I feel like I produce high quality content. It's not like I just throw shit out there and hope clients are gonna get attracted to it. I mean, sometimes maybe I do that, like a video that that I'm that I think is good, but really isn't that good. But Generally, generally speaking, I never upload a video or a commentary or anything that I'm not pleased with. I rather just delete it and do it all over again. And that's that's why I don't really have a schedule on my channel for when I'm gonna release videos because basically I release the videos as I finish making them. It is very seldom a video gets finished and then not uploaded the same day. Sometimes I manage to do that and have a couple of videos, maybe like Far Cry and stuff like that, uh, when I have them finished for a couple of days and then upload them. And that is actually really nice to have like kind of backup videos, like if something goes really wrong a day, you get sick or you have to do some fucking paperwork for taxes or some other boring crap that really has not to do with YouTube but still has to be done, uh, then you at least have some kind of video you can upload and that's uh, uh, that's a great way for me to make sure there's always content on my channel. But anyways, back to, back to the Machinima issue. Machinima was the place to be. I mean, like, if you were a Machinima director, like, two years back, my god, you were like the elite of YouTube. You, you could, like, contact any YouTube channel and they would, like, they would, like, kiss your feet and, like, oh, please, do do some kind of video with me and stuff like this. It still kind of is like that, but it's not, not in the same way, I would say. And it's kind of sad to see how, how it turned more and more. I mean, I understand a company needs to make money, and just as I need to make money to pay the bills, but they went too far with it. I mean, like, you, you really understood that something was extremely wrong with them when they started partnering, like, tons of channels every single day, like, a hundred channels a day or some crap like that, and they partnered Make and Speaks. I mean, I don't really know much about her, I just saw that she got partnered, and uh, she's in some kind of reply girl level. It's like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? And then I heard from some guys at Machinima that were talking on the office that they, they were planning on, on, on like, yeah, partnering the reply girl as well, and I mean, that's when you kind of notice that it's all about the money and it's not about the content or, or the quality anymore. It's simply about the views and the ads and stuff like that. And, and that just takes it a bit too far. I, I totally understand that they want a partner channel, big channels that, that get a lot of views and, and stuff like that. And they, they might not want to partner small channels. I mean, that, that's totally understandable and that might actually be good in the long run. 
simply because you don't want channels that put out crappy stuff or, or it's too small to actually pull an audience to be partnered because that might not even be the same quality as the bigger ones. Sometimes smaller channels have way better quality than bigger channels, but it's not often that is the case, sadly. And uh, yeah, that's it's just look at YouTube. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of people trying to make YouTube channels happen and, and only a very, very few people percentage actually ever succeed and get even a hundred subscribers and that kind of tells you that it, 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 it's basically kind of luck and also skill based I mean like you gotta be lucky have a few good videos and uh, you also gotta have some skills and, and ma make those few good videos and have them viewed uh, but, but the problem then started with, with them simply partnering whoever whoever the fuck got the most views simply like Megan speaks and the replying girl with their, that they were planning to partner and stuff like that and they kind of started treating their, their old timers badly uh, now even more so I don't know what the fuck's going on here the, the guy is like I'm, I'm shooting at him but I'm not hitting him I don't know if I'm freaking blind or whatever but yeah that's fucking weird but <laughs> yeah they started parting all kinds of people and now I hear all of these rumors and I'm guessing most of it is true and I'm guessing something similar has happened to Pwn and uh, that uh, they're, they're basically forcing people to to take shitty new deals uh, and also this was something that was going on already like a year ago a year and a half ago where where they forced people into contracts of seven years and sometimes an entire lifetime and I gotta explain to something something to you guys because partnering some someone or signing a contract for lifetime that is considered slavery and that is of course illegal in the world you can never go into a contract legally that extends to the day you die except for marriage <laughs> that's the that's the only contract you can ever sign that that actually is legally binding until you die but still you can actually get out of a marriage just with a divorce so that's kind of another thing but these contracts were meant to be basically you stay with us until you die or stop YouTube simply that's that's kind of that was kind of the deal and then now they they they're sending out these messages as I've heard it um, this might not be true so so don't 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 quote me on this but basically saying that hey guys you've been with us a long time we're struggling uh, we're going to cut cut your, your earnings in half and if you don't like that we're going to end your contract and and this is something that, that strikes me very odd as well like why are they trying to change their own contracts and stuff like that it's it just shows that machinima is maybe infected beyond the beyond the the reach of actually repair and I've, as, as i say i feel um, it doesn't really matter to me but but still i kind of feel sad that it's happening because machinima has kind of been standing for like the best shit on youtube for a long time like since since you could basically make videos but now most people or some still see machinima like oh my god if i get a machinima partnership i'm set for life but most people know by now that uh, machinima is kind of like making a deal with the devil and and the devil won't even keep his word so it's kind of sad to see that happening so uh, I'm, I'm kind of like meh here i'm glad i didn't pick machinima <laughs> right now <laughs> I'm not saying the game station is the best network either, like the best paying or anything like that. But at least they treat me re with respect and and don't don't pull some bullshit moves on me. At least not yet. If they do, I'm I'm definitely gonna let you guys know about it. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna do some more old-fashioned commentary in the next video where I explain how I'm thinking and what I'm doing to flank the enemy and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.